discussing brakes and how we do a brake job here. First, let's start off with identifying the components of the brake system. This is the rotor, <clears throat> this is the brake caliper, and this is the bracket. This is what squeezes the brake pads and then squeezes on this and stops the car. And here are the pads. First, we need to take the caliper off. Tug. It comes off. Now let's inspect the caliper, make sure the boot is not torn, and we're looking for signs of leaks. This caliper appears to be a head. The caliper to make up for the size of the new pads. And this caliper is sticking a little. <laughs> it may require further attention. Moving right along, you now to remove, have to remove the caliper bracket. Bracket off. We can now remove the rotor. Now while we have the caliper off, we need to inspect its components as well. These are the slides, and they seem to be moving all right. We're going to loop these up. So I just want to make sure they are moving. Let's take a look at the pads. Now, as we can see, we have uneven wear. This is the inside pad, and this is the outside pad. Could be many reasons for this. If we look at the rotor, you can see the inside of the rotor is all uh, delaminating and gouged up from weather and possibly the brake sticking. Well, you look in here, you can see the cracks <clears throat> on the face of this pad. That usually indicates overheating. As a comparison, <clears throat> this is a new pad. It's nice and flat, nice and thick. If you want to take a look at the rotors, now many people ask, can I just do my brake pads? I just want a pad slap. I don't want to pay for rotors. Why do I need rotors? Well, there's lots of reasons. First of all, anytime you do a brake job, to appropriately do it, the rotor needs to be addressed. There's two phases, two ways of going about doing that. One is you can machine the rotors, where we, it's, the rotor spins and a steel blade comes and just does a very, very light cut and makes it look pretty much like this. Now on this rotor, on the back side, that would not work. The other thing you need to keep in mind is rotor thickness. Now when you remove when you machine a rotor, you're removing material. When the material is removed, this means it cannot handle the heat as well. This is also why it's important to do pads because you want everything to sit nice and true, nice and flat. Now, if we were to put this pad on this rotor, it would not sit true because of the dips and gullies and, and gouges in it. What this would do is mean this rotor does not heat up evenly. So if it doesn't heat up evenly, it's not going to cool evenly. And then when a rotor doesn't cool evenly, it warps and causes what's called run out. Which is if you were to see this on the car and look at the face, you would see it was uneven and it's not running nice and true. Well, here at Schoolhouse, we always like to replace the hardware. These are slides for a caliper bracket. So we do. Take a little file to them, just get that rust out. So everything sits nice and flush. Make sure that's so much shiny. Let me just install them. So. 
right, let me do the other side. Now we got those in, what we need to do is we need to lube these slides. Just pop these out. Get some grease. So what we do is we wipe the old one off, get that old grease off of there. Put a fine little coat on here. You do not want to use Never Seize. Never Seize is great, but when it gets hot, it gets gummy and causes lots of issues. You want to use a silicon-based lubricant. You do not want to use petroleum-based lubricants. Because when they get hot, they get runny, and they leak out, and they will lose their lubrication properties. gets in there and check their operation. I won't see this. Yeah, okay. So now we need to do is we need to test the fit of the pads in the caliper bracket. And these ones fit nice and sliding back and forth real nice without any binding. As a side note, on most vehicles, most brake pads have what's called a squeal sensor that is on the inside pad. As you can see, this one has been activated and what this does is when you hit the brakes, this hits the rotor and uh, makes a chirping noise. Now we are know our pads fit nicely. What we need to do, what we do, is we add just a little bit of grease before the pad slides on. It's very, very uncomfortable. This helps prolong the life of the pads by driving moisture out, keeping moisture out and keeps the pads from sticking. And then install our brake shoes, pads. Is ready to go back on the car. So here we are, we're back together, everything's all nice and shiny, and ready to go down the road. This vehicle did end up needing a caliper. Typically what happens in the caliper is, this is a piston, and when you step on the brake pedal, fluid comes down to the back side of this piston and pushes it out, which makes this squeeze. <clears throat> Most likely what's happened is there may be a small tear in this boot that we don't see, or some type of water ingestion, which has put a, uh, made a rust ring on here, keeping the caliper from sliding in and out. So that's Brake Stats Glass Auto. That's how we do them, pads and rotors, and uh, addressing the hardware and uh, lubing everything up. Gives you reliable stopping power for a much longer time than just putting pads on and not taking those extra steps. Have a nice day.